When most people think of investing, they automatically think of buying stocks. After all, the stock market is one of the most commonly used vehicles for investment. But there are a variety of different types of assets that you can make. Hello everyone, welcome to Finance Wisdom. If you are new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. In this video, we will talk about what is the difference between trading and investing. Regarding the stock market, there are two main ways to make money trading and investing. So, what is the difference between trading and investing? Both have pros and cons. Deciding which is right for you can be challenging. Here's a look at the key differences between trading and investing. Trading is about buying and selling stocks quickly to make a profit. This can be risky as you can lose money if the stock price drops suddenly. However, if done correctly, trading can be a very profitable way to make money. Investing is a more long-term strategy involving buying companies' shares and holding them for months or even years. This is typically less risky than trading but also offers less profit potential. However, it's important to note that investing risks losing money if the company goes bankrupt. Now that we have discussed what is the difference between trading and investing, we will proceed to the benefits. The benefits of trading over investing. First, you can make a lot of money in a short time. Active traders can make a lot of money in a short period by taking advantage of price discrepancies and investing heavily in a stock that is about to go up, traders can make a killing on the market. In addition, traders are not subject to the same rules and regulations as investors. This allows them to make more significant risks and potentially reap higher rewards. Finally, traders can get out of a losing position much more quickly than investors. For these reasons, trading is often seen as more attractive than investing. Second, it's exciting and can be thrilling. Trading has become a popular investment strategy in recent years. And it's not hard to see why. For starters, trading is exciting. Watching the market fluctuate can be thrilling and making decisions could lead to a big payoff. And unlike investing, which can be a slow and steady process, trading offers the potential for quick profits. Of course, Trading involves risks, but for many people, the rewards outweigh the risks. So if you're looking for an investment strategy that's both exciting and potentially lucrative, trading may be suitable for you. Third, you have more control over your investments. Many people find that trading provides more control over their investments. With investing, you are essentially giving your money to someone else to manage. You may have some input into where your money is invested, but ultimately you are relying on someone else to decide how to grow your wealth. On the other hand, you are in control of trading. You decide when to buy and sell, and you can tailor your strategy to your risk tolerance and investment goals. Of course, this means that you need to be more hands-on with your investments but for many people, that extra level of control is worth the effort. Fourth, you can quickly get out of a losing position. Another advantage of trading over investing is that getting out of a losing position is more manageable. With investing, you may have to wait months or even years for your investment to pay off. But with trading, you can quickly buy or sell a stock if it starts to lose value. This flexibility can help you minimize your losses and quickly lock in profits. Fifth, you don't need to tie up a lot of capital. When you invest in a stock, you buy a piece of the company and become a partial owner. This means you need to invest a lot of capital to make a significant investment. With trading, on the other hand, you don't need to tie up as much capital. You can trade with leverage, which means you can control a more prominent position with less money. This allows you to make more enormous profits or more extensive losses. So while trading may not be suitable for everyone, it does offer some distinct advantages over investing. Sixth, you can take advantage of small price movements. Investors typically buy stocks and hold them for an extended time, hoping the company will grow and the stock price will increase. On the other hand, traders take advantage of small price movements in the market by buying and selling quickly. Traders can profit from even the most minor fluctuations in stock prices. This makes trading a more active and dynamic investment strategy than investing. Seventh, you can trade 24 hours a day. Investors typically only buy and sell stocks during regular market hours. But with trading, you can take advantage of the 24-hour nature of the markets. 
Since someone is always buying and selling stocks worldwide, you can trade anytime or night. This can be a great advantage if you have a busy schedule or want to take advantage of market opportunities as they arise. Lastly, you can earn income from falling and rising markets. Many people think you can only make money when the stock market increases, but with trading, you can profit from falling markets as well. For example, if you think a stock is overpriced and due for a correction, you can sell the stock short and make money as the price falls. This flexibility gives traders a unique opportunity to profit in any market conditions. Of course, trading also has its risks. It can be a more volatile and unpredictable investment strategy than investing. And if you don't have the time or knowledge to trade effectively, you could lose money. So be sure to research before deciding if trading is suitable for you. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, here are the benefits of investing over trading. First, it's a less risky investment strategy. Investing is often seen as a less risky investment strategy than trading. This is because you are not trying to make quick profits by taking advantage of price discrepancies. Instead, you are buying shares in a company and holding them long term. This allows you to ride out market volatility and see your investment grow over time. Second, you don't need to spend as much time on your investments. Trading requires a lot of research and analysis. You must constantly monitor the markets and look for opportunities to buy or sell stocks. With investing, you don't need to spend as much time on your investments. You can choose to invest in the index or target date funds designed to give you a well-rounded portfolio with minimal effort. Or you can pick a few individual stocks that you like and hold on to them for the long term. This hands-off approach can save you time and stress in the long run. Third, you can benefit from compounding returns. Over time, compounding returns can significantly impact your investment portfolio. If you're invested in quality companies that continue to grow over time, you can benefit from the compounding effect of their share price increases. This means that each year, your investment will be worth more than it was the year before, and the gains from those investments will compound upon themselves. Additionally, if you reinvest your dividends, you'll be able to benefit from the compounding effect of those as well. Over time, this can help you build a significant nest egg. In contrast, if you're focused on trading stocks, you may buy high and sell low. Not only will this reduce the value of your portfolio, but it will also prevent you from benefiting from the compounding effect of long-term investment growth. As such, investing is a much better strategy than trading for most people. Fourth, you don't have to pay taxes on your gains until you sell your shares. You don't have to pay taxes on your gains when you invest in stocks until you sell your shares. This is different from trading, where you may have to pay taxes on your profits each year depending on your money. This tax advantage can be a significant benefit significantly if you're investing for the long term. It allows you to keep more of your money invested which can help you to reach your financial goals more quickly. Finally, you can automatically reinvest your dividends. When you invest in stocks that pay dividends, you can automatically reinvest those dividends to buy more shares. This is a great way to grow your investment without investing additional money. Additionally, reinvesting your dividends can help you benefit from long-term investment growth's compounding effect. Over time, this can help you build a significant nest egg. All in all, investing is a much better strategy than trading for most people. It's less risky, requires less time and effort, and can provide significant benefits like compounding returns and tax advantages. Investing is the way to go if you want to grow your money over the long term. When is it most appropriate to trade and when is it most appropriate to invest? The most crucial factor to consider when deciding whether to trade or invest is your time horizon. If you have a short time horizon, then trading is likely to be a better option as it offers the potential for quick profits. However, investing is likely the better option if you have a longer time horizon as it provides the potential for greater returns over the long term. Another factor to consider is your risk tolerance. Trading is generally a more risky approach than investing as you constantly buy and sell stocks and are subject to market fluctuations. However, if you know what you're doing, trading can be less risky than investing. Finally, consider your goals. Investing is the better option if you want to build a diversified portfolio that offers stability. However, 
trading is the better option if you want to take advantage of market fluctuations and make quick profits. Regardless of your goals, it's important to remember that both investing and trading have risks and rewards. It's up to you to decide which approach is right for you. The bottom line, investing is the way to go if you want to grow your money over the long term. For most people, investing is a better option than trading. It's less risky, requires less time and effort, and can provide significant benefits like compounding returns and tax advantages. However, there are some situations where trading may be a better option than investing. For example, trading may be better if you have a short time horizon or a high risk tolerance. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide which approach is right for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. What is the difference between trading and investing? If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Thank you and goodbye.